they don't come a lot more popular around these parts than Cody, no love Garbrandt, the team alpha male staple and former UFC Bantamweight King trying to get back on the front. From the moment Cody Garbrandt stepped into the octagon, you understood that you were watching a future UFC champion. In his UFC debut, he knocked out Marcus Brimage, and then it was only up towards a title shot from that moment on. Realized that championship by beating one of the greatest Bantamweights of all time in Dominic Cruz. Might be the best athlete in this Bantamweight division. Skill for skill, he'll try to put it all together here tonight and make a run back to the Bantamweight title that he held when he beat Dominic Cruz, as you mentioned, back in 2016. with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. This is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jafar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Unreal. Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce effing Lee. Set to fight Cody, no love, Garbrandt. Or tell the date for this bantamweight championship fight. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Cody No Love And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting, leading, defending, undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world. Bruce the Dragon Lee! Herb Dean, our referee Ready for this fight. one. Ready. Good. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. The speed and the angles just absurd. And a hard guy to simulate in training. You think you got a beat on him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early go. Oh, big knee. Jeez, you can hear that. <laughs> oh, punches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing the shots. Together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. He passed the half guard. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. Absolutely going at it. Let's see who'll have the upper hand. Well, a lot of people felt like this fight had bonus money written all over it, and they are going after it. X circle square triangle. That is what you are doing with that control right now. Oh. This might be the biggest shot of 
this entire fight, he landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. He gets to a spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. So there it is, long good reach, paying dividends as he counters with a punch. Tries the flying knee to no avail. Well, we've seen a lot of different elements to his striking game tonight, especially that hook. We'll see if he sets it up again here. He has punctuated a lot of his combinations with that hook shot tonight. Under three minutes to go in round one. And there's another takedown attempt. Oh, and there's that hook again, but this one is blocked. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. High volume on both sides, and both of these guys are giving it as good as they're taking it. Well, Garbrandt's boxing looks sharp tonight, DC. You know, his uncle Robert Meese in the corner has got to like what he's seeing out of his nephew tonight. Now a takedown attempt. It is not. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that big. Oh, perfect head kick there. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Trading huge shot. Let's see who's gonna be the last man standing. Oh, he got it again. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But he's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got a ball. Oh, he's giving him so many different things right now. Ooh. Nice leg kick. Nice. Nicely done. Bleeding from the mouth, Daniel looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. Man, this is should have been tested early. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Let's go. One minute. Beautiful. He passes the half. All right, into full guard here, DC. I know you don't like hanging out here for too long. No, you don't want to stay there. Too much of a submission threat, you got to pass. Push kick there to the body. Great block there. <laughs> 20 seconds now remain in the round. Back and forth we go. These two were intent to make a good fight. Get yeah, jump. Oh, that killing is tough. Oh, he's got that. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow himself to get sucked. Outstanding back and forth first round. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with round two. Big kick land. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, guy. It's a master class, John. It's a master class. A huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. He does a great job getting out of that clinch position. 
Now a kick to the body. Well, confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. And I got to think when you knock a fighter down in the previous round, that's going to think you can do it again. I mean, confidence is key. In <laughs> Defensive Savant, he blocked that punch. Back kick there. Oh, here comes the counter just out of range. Back and forth we go. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh! Lead the strike attempt there is blocked. This pace is just absurd. Mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. Big left hand there inside. That one landed clean. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Just over two minutes here to go in round two. And again, dealing with that cut around his eye. Got to be careful. He's got a short defense because if he keeps getting hit there, it's only going to continue to get worse. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. He's able to slip the left there. Tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Cody Garbrandt. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. He's stunned, drunk driving out there. We'll see if he can recover. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. We gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice.
You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, man, DC, he would appear to be in real trouble. That uppercut is good. uppercut like that. It was Overeem versus Ngannou. And you know they still haven't found Alistair Overeem's head. Knee to the body. Oh, nice kick. All right, so he's landed a few big uppercuts already in DC. I know you're in the prediction business. You think he's going to set it up again here? I am certain he's going to try and set that up again. Expect it to come off of a left hook because off the left hook, you don't anticipate the next punch coming right up the middle. He's real good at trying to find that shot. Well, perhaps it's a high fight IQ. Perhaps it's obvious, but he is attacking that cut that he's getting deeper by the minute. And it seems like the right decision because you can see his opponent starting to paw at it. You can see it starting to take an effect. It's messing with him mentally. For him, he's got to continue to attack that area and hope that it just keeps getting worse and worse. Both fighters start to open up a little bit. Well, the calf kicks all the rage, but he's not discriminating. Attacking the thigh pretty effectively. Yeah, we have seen that time and time. People start in this rush rush. People throw a leg kick. Right now, you can see him digging his shin into this guy's thigh. Beautiful setup to the leg kick. Leg kick. Stats in that department starting to pile up. Oh, nice takedown defense. Fighters separate from the clinch now. Lee swelling now around that jaw area. We'll see if he can make some adjustments and perhaps defensively raise that guard to prevent any further damage. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough the opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Nose is just pouring blood at this point. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his first gas to try to find that pin. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. About two minutes here to go in round three. Oh, oh, the accuracy to land right there. His opponent's wobble chip. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Oh, a big left hand. There it is again. Back to the feet now. This is a crazy high pace. Garbrandt's left calf really starting to show signs of bruising now. Oh, landing on both sides. And the chins continue to hold up. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Takedown attempt starting to pile up. Under a minute now to go. Oh, a big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. All right, well, he told us in the fighter meeting he didn't want to be known for his toughness. And yet again, here we are talking about him absorbing a bunch of damage to that thought. Well, he's having to rely on it once again. It's become his calling card. And when you are known to be tough, that's the problem. You gotta be more technical. Right now, he needs to find a way to change this fight. Because if it continues to play out the way that it has to this point, he's gonna get finished. Oh, that Kimura looks tight.
to the championship rounds. All right, there's the end of the round, and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face. All right, DC, we got a few clips of the damage done in that round. Can see where things really started to escalate. Yeah, really opened up that cut, John. The blows are just devastating. He's got to get out of the way more. I mean, if this guy won't do it himself, somebody's got to help him. Yeah. Because you cannot keep taking these types of shots. Ready fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be harder. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. He's really pleading now. That cut is only getting worse. And Brent gets the single leg takedown. Well played. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's going to finish, continue to gain posture and bring down big strikes with your opponent. Oh, big elbow. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Garber. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Mm, that was nice. All right, side control now. Garbrandt's back in full now. This is where he wants to be. Oh, good ground and pound here. Just over three minutes now to go. Takes his back now. Now he's going full mount. He's got to be careful here. Oh, crowd just loving it as the fighters, after an extended grappling battle, make their way back to the field. Yeah, they're back on their feet. As good a punch as he's thrown on his The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that lands perfect. And that one landed perfect. Nice pass. There it is. Now he's on the mountain. Wow, he is landing time and time again on that cut. He needs to move. better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pass to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Lee gets back up again. Under two minutes to go. Well, you can see his leg is hurt here, starting to limp a little bit. I think Magomed Ankalaev is the guy we point to for exuding all of that toughness when he absorbed those leg kicks, but don't want to take too many more of those. But like Magomed, you want to try to get takedowns. You cannot be on your feet limping and turning away from strikes. You got to try and change something. Oh, right into Mount. This is a terrible position. Oh, big, big shots here. Take a guy out of mount. They will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of this position. Under a minute now to go in the round. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, 
It is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up. When it comes to his aggressiveness, the striking has been on point. Huge out of him. One of the best rounds of the year. Man, this fight has been pretty wild. A lot of high octane output on both sides, and candidly, neither fighter looking too good here. <laughs> it's the output. I mean, both of these guys have got their foot on the gas from the start of the fight. They've worked really, really hard to get to where they are right now. They're both gonna have to rely on the toughness to drag them through the very difficult moments. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cup. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. You ready to fight? Ready. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Oh. He's got to keep pressing here. All right, let's get it inside of Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 15 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world. We have a new UFC bantamweight champion. This is a moment that every fighter dreams of, and he turns that dream into a reality here tonight. It is the moment that we all wait for, and when it happens, you are almost in shock that it comes to fruition to 